Hello, I'm Nerds the Cartographer, and this is the 114th video of my Fallout 76 Surveil series, and here we are at Blake's Offering. This is a Mothman site, clearly, as you can see behind me there. Uh, taking a look at the map, we are here at the uh, east end of the mire, uh, getting close to the actual border with the Cranberry Bog. This is a new site that was added with uh, Wastelanders. There was nothing here before. So, let's take a look at this place. Again, one of those creepy skull-like effigies that they set up here with a big old uh, rib cage going up behind it. So, again, enemies here. Mothman cultists, obviously. Uh, types of plants you can find here. I found rhododendron and soot flowers. Uh, along with that, you know, things you can't harvest, but there are some creepy orange vines growing over things, you know, because it is the mire. Uh, let's take a look over here at this first platform. Now, that area down there, I don't consider that to be part of this location. It has basically rotating enemies that you can find in it. Uh, last time I found Raiders of the Crater. Uh, this time it's Scorched. Other times it's been Super Mutants. So, yeah, again, it's not really part of this location. Down here we've got uh, Bear Traps, so watch out for that. Up there there's also a Punji board. So keep in mind there are small traps here as well. These Bone Chimes, if you're looking for bone, you can disarm these things and take them with you. In fact, that's the, the largest... Uh, component that you can find here in terms of junk is bone from these bone chimes. So we got a little bit of food and water right here. Sleeping area. Here's a note that of course in uh, typical Mothman cultist fashion is very strange. Bright winged one sleeps beneath the earth. The silent watching one sleeps beneath the sea. When rivers turn red and sun turns cold. When beast is sacrificed. When stars fall in the land. And the air turns to poison. When Judgment Day arrives, the Great One awakens, and will demand all pay a price to beckon in the new world. Again, creepy, and not really something that you can make any real sense of. Now from that, it seems like there's potentially an extra god in their religion, not just the Mothman, but something that lives beneath the ocean. Who knows, maybe we'll see that in some future Fallout game. <laughs> anyway, here's their main effigy right here to the Mothman, with his uh, three skulls sitting there in his uh, torso. And you can find uh, these Mothman cultists sometimes praying right in front of this, or sometimes praying in front of the giant skull effigy down there. What did I just see? I don't know. Anyway, uh, right up here, little leather working station. They've got their creepy Mothman uh, banner up there. There's a fox hide right there. You can go down this way as well. And again, as another thing about Mothman sites, here's one of their bonfires. With the benches sitting around it, this one doesn't have sleeping bags like the ones that Clancy Manor had. Uh, let's head around this way. And we've got, uh, again, there's the effigy, but coming up this way, we got yet another bonfire. Alright. And if we come up over here, little cooking station, place to sleep. Right over here, this is where the punji board is. Uh, let's see if I can... There we go, destroyed it. So, watch out for that, though. I have accidentally stepped on it once, even knowing where it was. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got a holotape here. Chapter 8. So, I guess this is the follow-up to Chapter 7 that we'll listen to at the Clancy Manor. Chapter 8. Summoning right on the night of a full moon. Gather your fellows and sit around the effigy. Light the pyre and have all recite the following incantation as one. Oh, bright one, we bid thee follow this sacred flame with thy ever-watchful eyes. See clear as day this holy fire we burn in your honor like cattle to slaughter. We die for thee. Bid us welcome as we beckon thee with this divine lamp that we may be blessed by the air underneath thy wings. Now, of course, the Fallout universe does have its eldritch horrors, but at the same time, they could also just be burning stuff and hoping that a giant bug comes by to, to talk to them. Uh, let's see. Okay, not too much to see up here. There is a miner hat right there, and along with that, in terms of apparel, you can also find these pastor's vets vestments right here. So, uh, coming back up this way, though. So, there's a little place to eat lunch right over here. Another sleeping area. This would... I mean, this... It not really covered all that well by this uh, canopy here. Uh, another one of their uh, rib cage effigy things. A uh, bag of ammunition. And let's head up... Oop, what did I... 
I don't know, I just saw something. At the same time, I tripped over that gun, so I thought I was being attacked. Coming up there, up here, I mean, we have a little watchtower where they could watch over the swamp. Oh, that must have been what I, my, uh, what that little thing at the top of the screen picks up. Charles Feral Ghoul out there. Uh, here we go, Marksman Sniper Rifle, some ammo over here, and some, uh, drugs, and a uh, Kim Box. All right, well, that's pretty much everything you can find at this site. So why don't we take a look at the full list of all the junk that you can find here? All right, that should do it. And as night falls, this has been the Resolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.